we've experienced a good hard freeze in the gardens, we're left with the question of whether or not to leave foliage standing during the winter months. And there's a lot of reasons to leave it in place and others to remove it. Well, we'll take a look at a few of those, starting with disease. Now, this is a case where we want to remove the foliage to remove some of that inoculum for the gardens. One of the diseases that was really prevalent this year was downy mildew, and you can still see some of the remnants on the plants. Um, this is a case when I have a disease, I'm going to go ahead and cut all this foliage out and remove it. And in this case, we don't want to go put it in our compost bin. We want to remove it completely from the landscape by either burning it or putting it in our garbage. Now, of course, there's other plants that just turn to mush when a frost comes. A great example is the pineapple lily. This is a case where I'm prone to just remove the foliage and throw it in the compost bin. One case where we might choose to leave the foliage and seed heads in place is when the plant provides food for wintering birds. The echinacea is a nice example of this. Um, different birds and even small mammals will come and feed on these seeds throughout the winter months. And so leaving the seed heads in place, even though they've browned and withered, uh, will provide some food throughout the winter months. Again, you want to make sure that the plant is disease free though before you leave that foliage in the garden. So look for plants that have edible seeds, um, zinnias for example, coreopsis, those are great food plants for leaving out over the winter. Another great reason to leave plants is just for some winter interests. A lot of our gardens are planted primarily with annuals and perennials, and those beds can look pretty bleak in the winter time when all the foliage dies back. That's another reason that leaving the seed heads and foliage of plants like Autumn Joy sedum or grasses can add a lot of interest during the winter months. Another good reason to leave the foliage on our grasses is to protect the crown from damage due to cold temperatures or freezing and thawing over the winter. By leaving the grass heads, we have a nice insulating layer. And so we can leave those until fairly late in the season and cut them back late February or early March. And I've been out here when our grass garden is covered with a light dusting of snow or even a, a frost, and it looks absolutely beautiful. So I think just the simple aesthetic purposes of leaving that foliage in place can go a very long way. Now, some people who live in areas where they have rodent problems might choose to go ahead and cut back their grasses. Um, this dense foliage can create a habitat uh, where mice enjoy uh, spending the winter months to stay warm. And so if that's a problem for you, you can go ahead and cut the plants back uh, to about three inches above the soil level. But I would wait until we've had several very hard freezes to do that uh, so that the plant can move all its energy down into the roots. Some of our plants are very sensitive to winter temperatures. Plants like the hookahs have a very shallow root system and they're subject to the heaving of soil. When the sun strikes on a frozen soil, it thaws it out and we end up having this kind of buckling of the soil, which can push those roots up and expose them to cold temperatures. So these are plants that we definitely want to keep all that foliage in place because they're fairly evergreen. Um, but get a nice thick layer of mulch tucked up around the base of the plant and that'll help protect it throughout the winter. Now it's, you know, we don't get to enjoy the color of the foliage as much, but we'll definitely protect those plants and keep them intact throughout the winter months, prevent them from coming up out of the soil. So as you can see, there's a lot of different options when it comes to fall cleanup. Uh, some plants are better off left alone and others could use a little bit of extra management uh, to protect them and keep them healthy. Uh, but oftentimes the bottom line is simply aesthetics. So whatever works for you is the way to go in your own garden. Well, we've reached the end of another season of Oklahoma Gardening, but don't worry, we'll bring you plenty of our best of episodes throughout the winter months. Be sure to tune in to OETA for those. And you can also watch your favorite segments on our YouTube channel. Well, from all of us here at Oklahoma Gardening, have a very happy holiday season.